Hey, what's up, YouTube? So today I have a question for you guys. And it's a question and a statement at the same time. Do we have a neck knife, bro? So I have a couple knives here uh, that I carry on a regular basis. And all three of these are neck knives. And neck knives are very... Um, underrated these days. So I remember, I don't know if anyone else remembers this, but do you guys remember like 10 years ago when like uh, the whole YouTube survivalist prepper type thing kind of start really booming? Like it started back with like nothing fancy in like 2008. Um, but like it really started booming like 10 years ago, right? Um, 2010, 2011 kind of thing, and, like, it seemed like everybody had neck knives, right? Even, like, gun channels, knife channels, uh, prepper and survivalist type channels, everybody was rocking a neck knife. Do you guys remember that at all? I, I do, and uh, I've been fascinated with them ever since. Um, so let's, let's get into this a little bit um, and just ask a couple questions, and the questions are, um, do you even neck knife? right? That's, that's the biggest one. Do you, do you neck knife? Should you neck knife? The pros and the cons of the neck knife. And again, this is going to be a philosophy video. It's not a review on any of these knives, but let's get uh, into the knives here. This is the Azula Uno, the Azula One, the OG Azula. Um, man, I remember when this thing came out, Such did a video on it. Uh, <laughs> Between him and Nut and Fancy, they pretty much spend my money, right? Or at least they did back in the day. Um, but uh, when this thing came out, it was like 50 bucks, 60, 70 bucks, depending on which one you got. Uh, I went with the OD Green because, you know, I thought, um, oh, yeah, so cool, you know. Oh, got the OD Green. Makes me into like a tactical ninja ranger guy, right? Well, <laughs> as if, right? So, anyways, um... The OD Green Azula. Amazing. I, I still like it to this day. It's a little stupid. It's a little much, but why not, right? Why not? Uh, I got some, like, Coyote Brown uh, paracord wrap on it. Uh, really nice. Uh, yeah, speaking of, actually, I've been wanting to get the um, the scales for it for years. Uh, not the Micarta scales. I've been wanting to get the... Um, uh, it's the G10. I think it's called like Midnight Tiger Stripe or some bullshit like that. It's like um, OD green and black scales. I'm going to order some. I've been saying that for like 10 years now, 12 years, whatever. I'm going to order them. I'm going to. Anyways, um, so yeah, this was my first real entry into the neck knife. I had that stupid Bud K neck knife. It's floating around here somewhere. And you get them for like two bucks. That thing was junk. Don't ever buy that crap. Um... But spend the money and get a good neck knife, right? Um, what's the ideal purpose of this? And I said in my survival knife video, you know, like this to me, this is a survival knife. This isn't a tactical knife, you know, as much as I want it to be. Uh, could this be used for fighting? I'm sure, yeah. But, you know, it's a little bulky to be concealed, right? And that's, that's what I'm headed towards on this video. This is a great wilderness knife. But look at the sheath on this. Try concealing that. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> um, by the way, neck knives do conceal really good under like a dress shirt and tie. Uh, if you work in an office environment, as long as you don't go through a metal detector or a pat down, that works out pretty good. Um, this is what I carry more often than not. Could this be used for fighting? Yeah, I guess. Um, probably the Zilla would be better, but um, you know, to me, this is more like a get off me knife. You know, you can even hold it, like, in a punch grip or something. I don't know. Uh, do some ninja stuff, ninja ranger, like, special ops thing with, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but we're looking at, like, a really nice handle. Uh, it's really comfortable, right? Very compact. This is the CRKT Minimalist. Um, and this thing is pretty good. I got this for free, actually. <laughs> um... A buddy of mine who's a co-worker watches the channel sometimes, and uh, he has donated some knives to, uh, for me to review, and uh, one of them was the, 
fuck, what was it? <laughs> the Barricade. That junk knife. I wanted to like that knife. I kind of do and I kind of don't. Uh, I actually bought the uh, Benchmade Mini Reptilian from him. Uh, I only paid 40 bucks for this, guys. Phenomenal deal. And uh, same day, he gave me this. He was like, I hate this knife. It's stupid. You can have it. I'm like, sweet. And I use it all the time. But then I wanted something a little bigger. I'm like, you know, uh, hey, I asked him, recommend me a neck knife. Recommend me a knife that I'm going to like. And he did. Uh, this is the CRKT Spew. I actually got this as a gift. Um, uh, one of my family members asked me what I wanted for my birthday. I said, this is what I want. So he, uh, he's a little old school. He ended up going to like two or three different Walmarts to find this. Um, he went to like Valparaiso and then like Port, uh, uh Valparaiso and then like, uh, Maryville and <laughs> I said they're at Michigan City Walmart and that's where he went to go pick it up at. So, um, yeah, uh, this is like what, 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. This is the same price, right? Uh, the Azula, I mean, what are you, what are you looking at here? Like 50? Like, so yeah, um, the Minimalist actually, um, uh, conceals very well. Right, very, very compact. This is a nice package for concealment. But is it really like an effective fighting knife? Probably not. I mean, is this an effective fighting knife? Who knows? But it's like a, it's a little bit more, right? It's very easily concealable. Uh, again, if you wear a tie, and it, uh, it you can put it right underneath the uh, your shirt, you know, have the tie covered up, the imprinting of it, man. You got, a, you got a decent weapon here. Uh, for this, because I put a uh, chain on it, um, went to the hardware store, got one of those, you know, like chains, and uh, it rattles. It slides. So I just taped it up so it's nice and silent, stays in place. Uh, it's ugly as sin, but it's not meant to be worn outside the shirt. So uh, do I still carry this? Yeah, from time to time. Uh, and I still carry this one from time to time. Uh, if, I'm going, if I go in the woods... I'll take this one with me instead. But I'm not trying to conceal this thing. Not at all, it's too large. Too big, too large. But the SPEW, which stands for like small pocket, everyday worn cliff or something like that. Yeah, this is definitely concealable. This is doable, right? This knife, it's nice. So let me ask you guys that question. Do you even neck, neck knife, bro? Like, really? Should you? Should you consider it? I think it's an option. I, I really do. You know, uh, you can have a big tactical knife, right? Um, it's wintertime now, so I carry the um, uh, the rescue tool in my pocket now. So I can't carry something like this anymore because it's already too much knife. So now, to augment for the fact that I'm carrying a giant rescue tool in my pocket, um, I'm carrying a neck knife again. And I stopped only uh, just because, you know, it's summer, it gets hot, you know what I'm saying? But if I'm around the house, um, I have usually one of these uh, either on me or near me. And also, you know, probably should keep a weapon near you at all times. But uh, yeah, I mean, do you neck knife? And should you neck knife? Um, I challenge you guys. If you guys aren't into neck knives, if you never tried it, Try it. Get a spew. Get a minimalist. I actually, uh, they just released a bunch of new minimalist. Uh, there's they got the cleaver. I want that one so bad. I might order that. Uh, the cleaver. Uh, obviously, you're not going to use that as a defensive knife. But man, that would be a nice little knife to have, especially if you're cutting like a lot of rope and stuff. Yeah, that would be nice. So, anyways, guys, tell me what you think. Do you neck knife? Would you consider it? You know, have you done it? What was your experience? What knife did you carry? Uh, if you're going to do it, go out, spend $20 uh, and on up. Don't do the Bud K neck knife tanto with a whistle in it. It's all tactical, you know, turning into like some sort of ninja sniper guy. No, just avoid the, the $3 garbage. Go out, spend 20 bucks, get a neck knife. Get a nice one. CRKT makes great neck knives they dominate the market when it comes to that oh, i got the obaki as well that's a sweet little knife uh, 
I've done a review on that one too, and it's basically like a sh uh, like a sharpened like shiv. It's really nice. So, anyways, guys, knife knives.